Hello chess lovers, Solon here and in this video I want to share with you a brilliant endgame study composed by renowned Armenian chess composer Henrik Kasparian. If you remember earlier I have already shared with you Reti's endgame study where white king either managed to get in the square of the black pawn and intercept it or make use of his passed pawn. Now if h3 then king d6 followed by c7 c8 and if black wins this pawn then already white king is in the square of black pawn and can intercept it this is a draw but uh, what if that there is no way to stop the past pawn and also there is no chance of going for a pawn promotion then it turns out that even in that case there is a strategy that can help white the task is to draw with the white pieces this puzzle was first published in 1937 in Soviet chess magazine Chess in the USSR. Ready? So, do you already have the solution? Then let's go through it. First, white is playing king d7 and black is playing h5. Otherwise, if we move like king a7, then black can even lose the game. We will cover that variation once we go through the main line. King c7, h4. King b6, h3. King a5, h2 and b6, after which, on move 5, black queen appears on the board. And now on the surface it may seem that white's position is totally lost, how are you going to fight back? But just have a look, here comes b5, queen a1, we have a double attack and one of these pawns is going to drop, but white is sacrificing the b pawn and now if you win it then stalemate will appear on the board. And if you won't touch this pawn, for example, make a move like queen one check, then b4. And at this point, whatever you play, stalemate will appear on the board. Of course, you won't give up your queen on b4. You can even lose the game. Let's just make a random move. King b8, and we have a stalemate. So this time, white used entombment motif. And by digging his own grave, white king jumped into it and managed to save his life. Uh, also there is another line which I would like to cover. In here for example if instead of playing h2 b6 check uh, then of course you won't win this and you can lose the game. That's why just move back your king on a4 and again use the entombment technique to end up the game in a stalemate. Queen b7 but Black queen is late, you can't announce a check, now it's white to move and there are no more legal moves. This is a stalemate. Uh, a very very impressive chess puzzle, right guys? What about covering the other line as well? For example, after king d7, instead of playing h5, if king a7, then as I've already mentioned, you can even lose the game. Here is how it goes. White will now play b6 check. And then these pawns can guarantee white a victory. h3, a6. Ah, okay, you should capture on a6, otherwise there is a checkmate. But even so, yes, checkmate will appear on the board. b8, queen, and white is announcing a checkmate. Here we go. What about taking a look at the main variation once again? So king d7, h5. And now white king is going to bury itself. A very, very creative approach. h1 queen. And now here comes a4. Or if you want to announce a check, what else you can do? If here, then again b4. Even b3, b4 can be played and stalemate appears on the board. This is it, dear chess lovers. Hope that you enjoyed this puzzle. Feel free to share with your friends as well. Let them know about this beauty. I will see you in my next video. Take care.